Welcome to iLecture Online and here we're going to learn how to add and subtract complex numbers. So you may ask, well, what are complex numbers? Well, that's a, that's a good question. Complex numbers involve two parts, a real number part and an imaginary number part. And the imaginary part is something that you typically don't run into in everyday life, but in mathematics we sometimes need that. For example, if we have a quadratic equation that is graphed like this, and we ask somebody, find the roots of that quadratic equation, you can then say, well, there are no roots because the line does not cross the x-axis, so therefore there's no solution, there's no roots. But then it turns out that if you get the mirror image of that, and you see where the mirror image crosses the x-axis, these two would then be called the imaginary solutions of that quadratic equation. And there are some reasons why we sometimes want to do that. Um, if you plug in the equation or the, <coughs> excuse me, the coefficients of the equation of this uh, parabola into the quadratic equation, you will indeed get two answers that will have the letter i in there somewhere representing the imaginary part of your solution. Another way of looking at an imaginary number is to realize that it has a real part which always lies on the number line, like for example 2, and it has an imaginary part this tells you how far away from the number line you want to position the number. So the location of that number is really there, meaning if it's not on the number line, it's not a real number. So any number positioned away from the number line is considered like an imaginary number. So without further ado, let's go and see how we need to add and subtract these things. It's a simple rule actually. When you add two complex numbers together, you will add the, oh, I'm, not, I'm going to take this away. You're going to add the real parts together, and then you're going to add the imaginary parts together. And simply, a simple algebraic addition. So 3 plus 5 is 8, and a plus 2i minus a 3i is a minus 1i, and that is the solution for that. Fairly simple. Here again, you add the real parts together, so it's 2 plus a negative 4, which is a negative 2, and a minus 3i plus a minus 5i is a minus 8i. So simply add the real parts together and add the imaginary parts together. When you subtract, you probably want to turn into an addition. So the easiest way to do that is simply to apply the negative sign first and write this as 4 plus 3i plus, and then change all the signs inside, minus 3 plus 2i. And then you go ahead and do exactly the same as before. You add the real parts together and you add the imaginary parts together. I will go ahead and continue with the parentheses there. So this is equal to 4 plus a minus 3, which is 1, and a 3 plus a 2i is a plus 5i. Here again, the easiest way to do it is to go ahead and apply the negative sign to everything inside. So write this as 2 plus 5i plus, and then change all the signs inside, 6 plus 2i, and then all you have to do is add the real parts together. So this is equal to 8, and add the imaginary parts together. So this is 7i. And that is how you add and subtract complex numbers. Rather simple. So the next video we're going to show you how to multiply complex numbers.